All right. So I was just going to uh, make a super quick video. I was going to go live, but I decided against it um, to run over some of my settings with you real quick. Um, so normally what people see is this. I'm going to hit my monitor real quick so you can see my OBS. Wait, can I... Can I make things, can I go through these settings and you can see them? Oh yeah, that'll, that'll work, kind of. So there's like my little buy thing, um, starting soon, where's, oh wait, I have to pull my monitor down underneath that. Starting soon. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. So there's that car, right? And then there is... Uh, so all these are, like the car and like this thing right here, these are literally just live wallpapers. Like if you Google um, live wallpapers or live desktop ba backgrounds, I think it's live wallpapers, you'll find like looping videos on Reddit. And uh, let's see, let me turn that off so I can go into the settings here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And you can see like I have all these settings for having it loop and blah, blah, blah. Um, the media folder that it goes to is your app data roaming folder. So it'll like keep all this shit in here between, um, you know, if you go to another computer or something. Uh, let's see. I've got some music here I used to use, like, uh, they're like one shots, um, so it'll like play and then I'll never play again until I reset it. Um, I used to use all this stuff kind of like in a loop. It made this like perfect 10 minute thing and then I had a countdown timer around here somewhere. I don't see that. Um, I stopped doing that perfect loop. I might do something in the future for my intro and outro. Um, because, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh yeah. Uh, because I, one of the, some of the music I was using is no longer, um, open source or whatever that's called. Um, so let's see some other stuff. Um, gifts, uh, you can go in here and you can trigger, uh, these gifts. I really, really like setting these gifts to one shots. So, oh, there's like the party hard and I've, I've got them all set up weird now. So just ignore that. They added this push, push to show, um, or wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Push to show. So I'm going to go like, uh, control shift five and then, uh, control shift six, control shift seven or oops, that's six also control shift seven. So now I should be able to just like one shot these, uh, well, that's not working. Um, anyway, but you, you get the idea. Um, and then some of these, the, the actual file has like chroma key on it. Uh, see so like that. And you can like key out the background. Um, and then there's, there's a better way to do this. I found a YouTube video on it called nesting where you like nest these in another scene and then you link that scene and it like organizes things way, way better. Uh, my face cam, I have like two cams set up, right? It's just like pointed at the wall right now because I don't want to accidentally turn it on when I'm uh, just doing this stuff. Um, be right back. That all change. Uh, and then of course, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, this mode where you can be like, I'm going to transition into that. Bam. Now that's what you see. And transition. Um, 
that's it uh, for the layouts that I have set up. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> when I start the stream, I go here recently. Uh, I just go to Monster Cat Live, live.monstercat.com. And... Just, it'll take a second to load. Monster Cat, um... Fac? What am, what am I looking for? License? Yeah, I think that's it. Hello, load. There we go. So, like, literally, like, Monster Cat Radio plays everywhere. Um, over... I can't hear myself, this thing is too loud. Monster Cat Radio play everywhere, uh, the same music, like, um, so it's all going out everywhere at the same time, um, which is kind of cool and interesting for them, but uh, how this is helping me is I just go here and hit play and don't even worry about what's on. Um, and then here's their fact. Basically, you're going to get a content ID like claim by monster cat whenever you use their music in youtube or twitch it's not a strike though and it's not going to affect your channel um, it just means that they will get ad revenue from it not you um, if you want to actually get ad revenue for anything that you have monster cat stuff in then you have to pay five bucks a month for this uh, gold license thing and that's pretty much it it's a really easy way i've been making a list of uh, da, 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 where is it at somewhere in here I have a list of um, of royal royalty free ro uh, music is what I was looking for um, so the other thing that I do is my voice here um, uh, Reaper Ta -da. you want to go to the download page for Reaper and you want to uh, hold on download reaper vst plugins there it is get these vst plugins right here install them to the default directory then when you choose an audio source whatever it may be over here you can double click on the whoops right click on the audio source and go to filters and then you can add a filter and you've got your at your default filters that come with OBS Studio and then you've got VST plugins. And when you click VST plugins, uh, it's gonna open up. Wait. Please select plugin. Oh yeah, no, okay. So it's gonna pull from the plugins folder right here and it's gonna, uh, the, the default directory that Reaper installs in. So uh, here I have um, suppression, which uh, that's like cutting out low, or that's cutting out noise in the background. And then I have EQ, which you can hear the difference in my voice when I have uh, EQ and compressor turned off. This is EQ and compressor turned off and EQ and compressor turned on. Now, I can fuck with those a little bit. Um, I'll put plug in the interface. I will send you some info on uh, how to set those to sound. Uh, basically, EQ and compression on everything, on every microphone you ever use, if possible. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, wait, no, there's one more thing. Uh, my alert box... And this is just all built into slobs, Streamlabs OBS. Just like go through all this shit and get it set up. It's super easy. Um, and then what am I looking for here? They have a cloud bot. Is it store maybe? No. Themes. Yeah, right here. You can literally just be like, oh, I want my shit to look like this. Or I think you can search here. Let's just try retro. Yeah, you can be like, I want my shit to look like this. Bam. And you like click it. And I don't know. Prime is something you have to buy maybe. Um, but the non-prime th themes like this. I don't know what prime is. Whatever. There, I know that there's there's non, there's non a bunch of free themes. Um, and oh, that's cool as fuck. Damn. That looks awesome. 
Um, anyway, you just like click this shit and it like installs the whole fucking theme. Um, but you can also only install parts of the theme. Like you can just install uh, the the follower pop up or the, or one widget or the overlay or whatever you know. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then uh, stream labs. Is I saying labs, laps, stream laps? Uh, yeah. So like this is literally all the same stuff uh, that's in the app, but it's online, and you set up all your profile and shit. Uh, I'm just randomly clicking here in their console, and. Um, like this is actually, oh yeah, hey, cool. They have like information about how to learn to set all this up and beginner's guide and stuff on the website. So yeah, hey, go to their website. Uh, I probably should have said that before I said all this. And uh, yeah, that's my setup. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I used to have a way more complicated and advanced setup. Um, I used to, like my bot would trigger all sorts of things. Like he would... I had bot triggers set up to like add uh, user submissions to a file, then read those files on the screen. And then people could do like hotkeys and it would like pop up on the screen and be like, this is the Mario maker level that Jonathan's on here soon coming soon. I'm going to actually put in a, um, a marker function that's going to allow me to like trigger a foot pedal or something on my desk. Like if something was interesting and it's going to put a timestamp um, in a, in a, in a editing log. So that way when I go back and edit, I can just like hit all those bullet points because it's so tedious going back through three hours of editing and trying to pull out the interesting spots. So I'm going to start timestamping stuff when I figure out how to get that timestamping thing done. Um, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, whoop. Okay. Transitioned. Uh, where's the monitor? Yep. I think that's it. I'm going to get back to work. Actually, no, it's 11.45. I'm going to try and rest. Get ready for the morning. See you, dude.